The Wii is the only Nintendo console to sell over 100 million units. Many companies, including Microsoft and Sony, tried to recreate the success of the Wii using their own versions, like Microsoft's Kinect and Sony's PlayStation Move. And while they did kind of well, it was mainly the Wii that took center stage for motion controls. Now, in 2017, the Wii is kind of a name of the past. The Wii U was an absolute failure for Nintendo, so they just moved on from the Wii name. And honestly, I think we can all agree that that's probably best. Well, if you have been following my channel for at least a month now, you will probably remember my video called Nintendo is being sued over the dumbest reason. Basically, in that video I talked about how Game Vice is suing Nintendo over the detachable controllers on the Nintendo Switch. Well, less than a month later after I made that video, Nintendo has another lawsuit they're fighting. I'm not kidding, this is real. So a company called iLife filed a $144 million patent infringement case against Nintendo four years ago. The case has finally been brought back to life yesterday, and now Nintendo has to deal with two lawsuits in the span of one month. The jury then came back with a verdict at around 11 a.m. Let me read out what Nintendo had to say about the verdict. On August 31st, 2017, a jury in Texas found that certain Wii and Wii U video game systems and software bundles infringed a patent belonging to iLife Technologies, Inc. related to detecting if a person has fallen down. The jury awarded iLife $10 million in damages. Nintendo disagrees with the decision, as Nintendo does not infringe iLife's patent, and the patent is invalid. Nintendo looks forward to raising those issues with the District Court and with the Court of Appeals. Monk Wilson Mandala, sorry if I said that wrong, who is the head of litigation practice said the following in a statement as reported by Rolling Stone. Since 2013, Monk Wilson Mandala has represented iLife. Today's verdict is a result of our commitment to excellence and an outstanding team effort. The first thing iLife sought out to do was have a $4 per unit royalty paid to them, but it would only count if the system was sold in the six years before the suit was filed at least according to Royal Stone. But Nintendo argued that the patent filed by iLife was actually invalid because the description in the patent was not properly written. I don't know why now all of this is happening to Nintendo. The Game Vice lawsuit was literally just because the Joy-Cons could detach and another product that Game Vice made could do something kinda similar to that to mobile devices. I still find it hard to believe that less than a month after the first lawsuit with Game Vice, there's another lawsuit for Nintendo. And honestly, I think this lawsuit, I don't think Nintendo is going to lose the Game Vice lawsuit, but I think Nintendo actually has a good chance of losing this one. If this iLife technology company keeps throwing all these claims at Nintendo, this could actually do a bit of damage to Nintendo. Honestly though, I don't think anyone else is buying the Wii U or the Wii anymore. The Wii U is without a doubt straight up dead, and the Wii has been dead for a very, very, very long time. But I'm betting if the Wii did not sell well, I'm sure Nintendo would not have to deal with this case. It's all just because of money. But really thinking about it, I don't think this is going to do too much damage to Nintendo. Like I said before, it might hurt a little bit. Nintendo might have to hand over some cash to this iLife Technologies Inc. But I hope this is the last case we're going to have to talk about for a while. So if you did find this interesting, please share this video on social media. It really does help. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. Since my channel is fairly small, I'll try to reply to your comment. And see you.